The private papers of a Hillary Clinton confidant. The newly, newly released diary and documents shed new light on Clinton's thinking during what may have been the lowest point of her White House years, the Monica Lewinsky affair. And ABC's John Carl has the details. For decades, Diane Blair kept a diary chronicling in great detail her close friendship with former First Lady Hillary Clinton, right up until Blair's death in 2000. But it remained under seal for years and was reported for the first time Monday by the conservative website Washington Free Beacon. Blair's diary portrays Mrs. Clinton as a hard-nosed political operative who is, quote, in despair that nobody in the White House is tough and mean enough. The papers describe personal conversations Blair writes that she had with Mrs. Clinton during her time in the White House, offering new insight into Hillary Clinton's mindset immediately after Bill Clinton admitted having an affair with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. It was a lapse, Blair writes, but she says to his credit, he tried to break it off, tried to pull away, tried to manage someone who was clearly a narcissistic looney tune, but it was beyond control. Blair also writes about Mrs. Clinton's frustration with critics who called her too aggressive and too political. I'm a proud woman, Blair quotes Mrs. Clinton saying in 1996. I know it confuses people when I change my hairdos. I know I should pretend not to have any opinions, but I'm not going to. I gave up my name, got contact lenses, but I'm not going to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. All told, the papers offer a positive portrayal of Hillary Clinton from one of her closest friends. None of this appears to be politically damaging. And asked to comment on it, Hillary Clinton's spokesperson has simply said, no comment.